All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our artificial intelligence course, and we're still doing our optimization module. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, tonight, we just wrapped up things with backtracking search method, so let's pick up where we left off. This was the implementation of a very simple backtracking search method, but really, we just went through each of the variables, picked one that wasn't assigned, tried the possible values the variable can take on, and if it didn't violate any constraints, then we kept trying other variables. And if ever we hit a dead end, we had to backtrack. But ultimately, we might be able to be a little more intelligent about how we do this in order to more efficiently solve these types of problems. And one thing we might imagine trying to do is going back to this idea of inference, using the knowledge we know to be able to draw conclusions in order to make the rest of the problem solving process a little bit easier. And let's now go back to where we got stuck in this problem the first time when we were trying to solve this constraint satisfaction problem. We got stuck around a D area, if you recall. The last time we did this, we dealt with B and then we went on a D. And we went ahead and just assigned D to Monday because that seemed to work with the assignment so far. It didn't violate any constraints, but it turned out that later on the choice turned out to be a bad one. You remember we got jammed up with E and C because we chose Monday for D. That choice wasn't consistent with the rest of the values. The question is, is there anything we can do to avoid getting into a situation like this? Avoid trying to go down a path that ultimately isn't going to lead anywhere by taking advantage of knowledge that we have initially. Let's move down further. Now we can look, and it turns out we do have that kind of knowledge. We can look at the structure of the graph so far, and we can say right now that C's domain, for example, contains values Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And based on those values, we can say that this graph is not all consistent. Remember that all consistency is all about making sure that for every possible value for a particular node, that there is some other value that we're able to cross, that we're able to choose. Just go back up and look really quickly so you can see these are the three values we have, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, obviously, we can only choose one of these values because C has an edge with A and B. A is already Monday. B is already Tuesday. So that will cross off Monday and Tuesday, which means C will ultimately only be left with Wednesday. And that's just to move ahead just a little bit to give you a breakdown of what we're doing. And based on those values, we can say that this graph is not all consistent. We did that already. And as we can see, Monday and Tuesday are not going to be possible values that we can choose. I just explained that to you. So using that information and making C all consistent with A and B, we just make C Wednesday. Now, basically, we just went over that tonight. We went over the process of uh, going through the steps of again, but we did everything manually using inference or knowledge that we already have instead of doing backtracking. So we didn't do any backtracking tonight. We just based everything off inference and we ultimately came to the same conclusion that we did last night. So that's what we did tonight. I think I think that was the end of backtracking. I'm not sure, but I'll keep you posted every step of the way as usual. It's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.